it's freezing in Ohio, like literally freezing, like it's 24 degrees outside. So it always makes me chuckle when I see people in, like in California, like, oh my God, it's finally cold and it's like 60 degrees. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm just avoiding the inevitable of getting out of the car to walk in the store. But I'm here to just grab some simple things like brown rice, um, some marinade for these venison steaks that I'll be doing today on the Traeger. We're gonna prep about like 15 of them. The way I'm just, it's a lot easier to eat. And then some things to make some healthy Christmas treats I'm really excited about. Around this time of year can derail a lot of people. It's cold, you just wanna snuggle up, you don't wanna go to the gym, you don't wanna go out in the cold, you wanna just eat all the yummy Christmas treats that are at all the parties and everything else. However, you know, for me, I I have a lot of goals. Josh and I have a lot of goals. He annoys me when we come to the store, so it's just me today. But um, we just, we have goals and we have a lot of things that are coming up and so we need, really need to stay on track. And I also don't want to sacrifice, so I'm gonna try to make some yummy Christmas, you know, healthy things that we can still enjoy and, you know, do together and take to parties and things like that, but that won't completely derail us. So that's my mission today and probably the next video as well I will create some of those things so that should be really yummy and it should be good my seat warmer is like preventing me from walking into the store it's like right there 24 let's go oh and oh yeah and my bright blue pants that I have on today. Aren't these fun? So these are actually from Isolator Fitness. They're the customized ones that I showed you guys over Thanksgiving week. Super fun. You can order. I'll put the link right, right there. So here we go. My lunch today was one can of tuna and then I mixed two and a half ounces of avocado added some sweet pickles, and then did a serving of these, which are incredible. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to make some flat iron steaks made from venison from my deer. Show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm just using a bunch of different seasonings. I'm using this, some seasoning salt, some of this, and then Traeger's Big Game. What you doing? Editing. What's and Jerry doing? Using me for warmth. Baby. So you guys just saw me marinade and pound the steaks and season them and then you want to keep them in either the fridge or like a cold room like I just put them out in our sunroom because it's like 24 degrees. So those will marinate until we're ready to eat them tonight for dinner. We're going to use our Traeger. It's a wood pellet smoke, like wood pellet smoker grill thing. It's really neat. It runs off electric too, which is really nice. If you don't have a Traeger, you can even do the oven. You could do it on a skillet. You could do it in a regular grill. Whatever you have access to, it will be delicious. Now I'm gonna make two different Christmas treats. I'm gonna make these strawberry protein Christmas tree looking things, you'll see them. And then I'm gonna do protein puppy chow, but make it like holiday flavored. It's gonna be, or holiday colored. It's gonna be really fun. So I've made the puppy chow before. I made it like two years ago, actually when we lived in our apartment and it turned out really, really yummy. Mm -hmm. 
And if you guys have ever seen, they actually sell protein pudding, but this just cost me like 20 cents to make. So you can make your own. My base was just one packet of this, the sugar-free vanilla jello. I did one cup of almond milk, and then I did one scoop of our Bomar Fitness protein powder. You can get it at bomarfitness.com. Now I'm just gonna add some food coloring because I am making little trees. Strawberries, we have our mix. And now we're just gonna dump all those in there, coat them, add sprinkles, and then chill them until we're ready to eat. And into the fridge they go. So I know I've showed you guys before, but I feel like it's pertinent to show you again how to make a recipe in my fitness pal so you just simply go to i'm gonna add a food we'll just do snacks and then instead of all of these you click recipes create a recipe and we're going to enter ingredients manually and we're going to call this strawberry christmas trees serves 20 because there were 20 strawberries now we're going to go through and add ingredients so I weighed the strawberries. So we are going to change that from, oh, that one doesn't have ounces. Find one that has ounces. Okay, one ounce of strawberry right there. And I had 13.3. So we add that. And then I did the Jell-O sugar-free vanilla powder or mix and you can enter this manually however when you enter it or I'm sorry you can enter it and scan it but when you scan it it takes into account that you used skim milk and that's not what I did so you just want the mix so we change it to one box add that then we add our almond milk so we're actually gonna scan this you hit scan We did one cup, Let's change that to one cup, add that, and then we did our protein. So we're gonna add that, and then that was it. So as you can see down here, I'll just show you this way. So it's 18 calories per serving for 20 servings, which is incredible. So we'll just go here. And then we're just gonna see. For sit. dinner, I'm making the flat iron steaks I showed you guys earlier, and then I'm making sweet potato fries as well on our little air fryer thing. Whew. So for the steaks, I put our Traeger to uh, 350. As you can see, it's warming up right now. Ooh, if it'll focus. All right, well, that says 170. Um, put all the steaks on here. I can show you guys very quickly as it's really cold out here. All right, so on our Traeger. The steaks here and I'll leave on for about eight to ten minutes.
you doing? Okay, party people, we are gonna make protein puppy chow. Yep, that's right. Sarah Bomar is gonna teach you how to make protein puppy chow. It's gonna be freaking delicious. Jerry's probably gonna help. It's like 10.30 in the evening, but I don't even care because I've been thinking about protein puppy chow all day and I have some macros left over and you know what I'm gonna fill them with? You guessed it, protein puppy chow. I'm also going to attempt to make it holiday flavor, holiday colors. Um, I'm not quite sure if it will work out. Update. The whole holiday colored thing didn't work out. I thought um, shaking the vanilla protein powder in a shaker cup dry with food coloring and do the trick, it didn't. So I'm just gonna use holiday sprinkles and away we go. So I've got this, got this at the store, and do nine cups. I'm basically gonna follow this, but instead of that and that, I am going to use this, PB2. If you've never used PB2, it's phenomenal. In two tablespoons, it has 45 calories as opposed to 180 with regular peanut butter, and it's already chocolate flavored, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna omit the butter. We are going to still use the vanilla, and instead of the powdered sugar, we are going to use vanilla protein powder. So I will show you guys the comparison between if I had followed this recipe and my recipe as far as macros. So since I'm using the PB2 instead of the peanut butter and the chocolate chips, I am going to actually use this as my base to figure out how many cups of this I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use the whole container. So there's two tablespoons in one serving. There's 15 servings. You ostensibly mix same part water to same part PB2. So we're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna measure it out slowly, whisk it together, see how much it yields. And then based off of how much this gives us is how much cereal we're gonna use. Okay. Should look like so. We're gonna heat it up just for a little bit. On medium. Heat it up. Like I said, that'll help bind the cereal a little bit better. And I'm gonna start off with five cups of cereal in my plastic bag. So, so I've got this going over here. Reading is your friend. Cereal is supposed to go in the bowl. Then once you put the stuff on the thing, then you put the thing in the thing. So we're gonna do what it says. Mm. Perfect, just what I was hoping for. We can add more. This will be cup six. See what this does. You want it to cover it, but you don't want it to be soupy. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so your puppy chow should look like this so far. Now we add it to the bag. Bomar protein. Close it, make sure there's not a lot of air in there. There we go. Mm-mm-mm. Right. I'm gonna put in the fridge for about, about an hour-ish. Am I allowed to toot my own horn just for a second? Pretty proud of myself for coming up with that recipe, thinking PB2 instead of the peanut butter and the chocolate, use protein powder instead of the powdered sugar, get rid of the butter, Voila. You hold your applause. You're welcome. No, I'm seriously so proud of myself for thinking of this, one, and then for two, being able to share it with you guys because I love puppy chow and I'm gonna figure out the macros right now for this one and then I'm gonna figure out the macros for if I had done that thing and compare them, serving size equivalent, because I'm probably gonna eat like a cup at a time. So I'm gonna give you guys a cup version of my own and then a cup version of said recipe on that box. And I'm really excited because I love sharing these recipes with you guys. And if I can help you save calories in any way, shape or form and still enjoy the foods that you're dieting on, I'm gonna do it. 
My recipes aren't a secret. I don't need you guys to pay me for my recipes. I don't need to make an ebook. I don't need to do any of these things. I just love sharing and helping you guys out. So let's find out what these macros are. My macros for one cup. And the unhealthy macros. Huge difference, obviously, in the macro makeup, but also the total calories. Hi, buddy. 